part. Okay, Arnie, darling, we're going to talk about a left hand uh, practice technique uh, to teach our fingers the muscle memory capacity to hone in on the sweet spot of each chord, which is right here. I'm going to make a C chord. Now watch what happens when I move out of the sweet spot. Do you hear that? I'm in the correct fret, for heaven's sakes, but I left the sweet spot. It's right here. And my finger really is touching, just tickling this thing, which is called the fret wire. I liken this, this exercise to going to the gym and working out with weights, doing some uh, uh, bicep curls. And it's, it could be boring, although I love this. I think it's very meditative, but you just, it's like, it goes on and on. But then a, a couple of days later, you're able to go pick up your groceries <laughs> with ease because you were doing these bicep curls. This will affect every aspect of your left hand, this exercise. So again, all the work is on the A string. And what I'm going to do, I'm, it's gonna look like this. That's the first part of the exercise, and then it's gonna be released like this. I suggest you just use your thumb right now. We talked about the thumb of strum like this. It's just gonna be plucking across that A string, and you notice when I pluck, my thumb comes to land right here on the wood of the ukulele. So I'm putting my index finger in the third fret. I start in the third fret, I'll tell you why, because, um, let me move this stuff out of the way, um, because it's easier to press. Uh, anything that you press down in the uh, first fret is the hardest place to, to press. So I'm just starting here. You can start anywhere you want and on any, any string. So I'm plucking one, and again, we in tempo, so one. And then I hold, here's key, a key to this exercise. I am holding my index finger down and then I'm placing my middle finger in the sweet spot of the fourth fret and plucking. Ring finger, fifth fret, sweet spot. Baby finger, this is really gonna strengthen your fingers, this exercise. Sixth fret. Now we're halfway through the exercise and all four fingers are pressed down. Wow. Now I'm going to count one and release two, three, four. So let me show you again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now, this will happen. This is going to happen. And I want you to stop and make the correction. What's happening here is my finger is not in the sweet spot. So I'm going to bring it over to the sweet spot. Now watch this not in the sweet spot. I move it into the sweet spot and hold it there. Baby finger, sweet spot. Okay, now we're already in the sweet spot. So releasing should be a little bit more, a little easier. One, two, three, four, and slowly. The idea is not to do this fast, it's to do it precise. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to do it one more time. One, two. Now, close your eyes and do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one more time. So what we're doing is we're teaching our fingers when they're making a G or an F or an a, D minor to begin to learn to suss out that position where you're getting the sweetest sound. You see, if I'm here, I'm 
getting that. But I bring it here. Ooh, much, much better. We want to get to the point, don't we all? And music is you put in the grunt work. This is the grunt work so that we get to the point where we don't have to think about it anymore. How did you, how did you do that? Hang on, let me, let me turn this off and I'll, I will.